hi I'm back ha ha hope you all enjoyed your new year had a good one and a good um, holiday Christmas Yule whatever it is that you celebrate um, yep I'm just kind of hanging out at the studio right now not really doing anything in particular because why not uh, I had a bunch of running around to do today so I thought I'd just come up here um so I mentioned something last time about doing a, 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 a song a month, a choreography a month, and I finally picked out a song. So uh, I'll have an extra day off next weekend. I'm going to be working on my choreo, and hopefully I'll actually have something in a couple of weeks to put up here. That's the plan, right? <laughs> uh, in the meantime, of course, you know, that's that's if I ever get the oculus off of my head ah if you guys haven't seen uh the oculus it's a virtual reality gaming headset and it's i'm i'm in trouble <laughs> i'm addicted to it i got it wednesday this is saturday i've been playing with it almost non-stop like every freaking day i was so tired and so sore when i went to bed last night i just like crashed hard it was great um but I love it. It's great fun. I've been fascinated with virtual reality for a really long time and they have some really great games and just fun stuff you can do and there's this meditation app I have. It's called Trip. It is. Um, I'm just really enjoying it a lot right now and uh, if, uh, if it does what I, I hope it does in a couple of months I might actually have some changes in my in my strength and body composition and all that good stuff. So. <laughs> uh, it's been a weird couple of weeks, folks. Yeah, I don't feel like I can post this up without saying something about the chaos that's been going on in Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah, what is that? Yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of living in historic moments, right? Okay, that, that's all I'll say there. Um, <clears throat> Other than that, uh, my oldest son turned 30 this week. <laughs> huh. uh, I'm just charging on ahead. I've tried to have a little bit of a meltdown uh, over the holidays because this is my first holiday without my mom. Those of you that know me in real life know that I lost my mom. It's been almost a year now. This week, a year ago, was when it all just really went downhill very, very quickly. And you guys know what that was like. But it, was, it wasn't fun. For those of you that don't know, um, I lost my mother uh, to breast cancer very suddenly. Um, she never said anything about there being an issue. And I halfway lay the blame with her refusal to do something about it and halfway with her nurse practitioner who kept insisting that it was something wrong with her kidneys when she had a problem with her back. Um, once we finally got a full MRI they found a mass at the base of her back and uh, it had actually fractured a vertebrae and what it was was breast cancer that had metastasized and by the time they found it it had spread not only to her back but to her lungs and um, we took her to the hospital as soon as they told us and about a month later she passed away so this next month is going to be a little weird for me a little difficult I'm gonna do everything I can to distract myself from what's going on and on top of that we just finished all the probate stuff and uh, suddenly I own two houses yeah <laughs> so anyway so weirdness in my life hey uh, how's everybody else doing out there? I hope things aren't going quite so chaotic. Um, somebody said that this is the true beginning of the age of Aquarius this year, during this particular time of the year, and uh, that's why things are going haywire. If this is what's in store for us, it's like 2020 part two. What the hell, man? <laughs> 